Hello and welcome to Introduction to Transmart using Dataset Explorer. In this demonstration, we will show you how to navigate subject level studies and use the data within those studies to generate new statistics uh, about the data in the studies. Uh, as you can see, the panel on the left allows uh, you to view some top level folders and the panel on the right will be used for subsetting the data within those studies. So the only folder in here that has any data is the public studies folder. And this folder has studies organized by author alphabetical order. We can locate the study that we're interested in by simply scrolling down to the study of interest and then clicking on the plus sign next to the study name. Once we do that, uh, we can see the folders within the study. In this particular study, we have some biomarker data, which we can explore further by clicking the plus signs all the way down. Once you've reached the last node, you will see that uh, the node has a little picture on next to it that is not a folder. So uh, this brings us to our next topic, which is there are three types of data nodes that are represented within Transmart. The first type of data node is the number node, which can be seen here with a little, represented here with a little one, two, three symbol. So for a field such as age, we simply represent that there is, an, there is data in the age field by showing that the data label age and the one, two, three symbol next to it. For categorical nodes such as race, those are represented by the ABC node and the actual data values within the node are displayed. Additionally, we have a third type of data node, which we call a high-dimensional data node. And that data node is represented by a DNA symbol. This data, node, this data symbol is used for data such as gene expression data, SNP data, RBM, and other types of high-dimensional data. With this very simple interface, you are quickly able to see the kinds of data that you have in your study. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open all of the clinical folders within the study to see what kind of data we have. This is a colorectal study, and it is from the GEO uh, NIH website. Um, if we're interested in more information about the study that is published on that website, we can simply right-click on the study name and select Show Definition off the pop-up menu. This will bring us a little panel of information that has been gleaned about this study. And uh, as we can see here, uh, it gives us an abstract from the study, the study number. And since this data also, this study also has analyzed data within this Transmart system, we can click on this link to explore the analyzed data, which we aren't going to do right now. Um, but it does allow us to read further information about the study within this panel. So now we'd like to explore the data within the study itself. The second thing I'd like to note is the uh, number within parentheses. The number within parentheses tells you how many, to how many subjects that particular attribute corresponds. So the top level study node has the number 177, which means that there are 177 subjects within this study. However, as you go down further into the, into the data, the number decreases. So for example, within the study, there are 150 subjects who, identify, who are identified as white. Uh, if there is a number node that has fewer than the number of subjects next to it, that means that, that, is the, uh, that, means that there are not everyone in the study had data with that number node associated with it. So in order to further explore the data within the study, we will now subset the data into uh, subsets using this panel on the right. And we are going to use the we are going to use whether the patient died at the end of the study as the subsetting criteria. So in order to do that, we are going to expand the clinical data folder, expand the uh, patient death folder and simply drag the no node into subset 1. Next we're going to drag the yes node into subset 2. 
now we have created our two subsets. The next thing we can do is to generate some simple statistics about those subsets. And we can do that by clicking the Generate Summary Statistics button. The original, the initial data that Generate Summary Statistics will always create is data on demographics. So age, sex, and race. So as you can see, the age, sex, and race distribution of our two subsets is pretty similar with fairly overlapping histogram for the age and a very similar mean uh, for age of what we can assume is diagnosis. However, we can further explore the data set by simply dragging other concepts from the tree. So for example, if we were interested in the distribution of AGCC stage uh, data for these subsets, we can just drag that node into the Generate Summary Statistics window and see the distribution of the stage data for the two subsets. And as you can see, the this, this distribution of cancer stages for the two subsets is quite different. So what is displayed is a histogram of the stages, a box plot, and some summary statistics, which as you can see has a quite significant p-value, which is perhaps not surprising since we, sub we sorted our data set uh, based on survival. Likewise, in addition to being able to drag number concepts in order to generate summary statistics within the, this tab, we can also drag categorical concepts in order to see if there's a difference between uh, those for the two subsets. In this case, we dragged the tumor differentiation, uh, which is a histology field, into this panel. And as you can see, the histology for the two subsets uh, is actually not different at all. The distribution of the histological types is pretty similar. So this is an interesting result in and of itself, since histology is often used as a, as a metric when determining uh, what the stage of a cancer is. In addition to being able to navigate data with the, from a study in a graphical interface such as the Generate Summary Statistics tab, we can also see the same data in the numeric grid view that we, that we can access by simply clicking on grid view. And what grid view allows us to do is to uh, look at the data in a tabular format and it's organized by the it's organized by study and, and subset, and these same three demographic fields are always included. Um, however, in addition to that, they are all, we are also seeing the fields that we dragged in ourselves into the Generate Summary Statistics uh, tab, such as the AGC cancer stage. And if uh, further exploration of this data is, is of interest, then this grid view can be exported through this export menu right here, where it says uh, export summary statistics will export the tabular format of the grid view. So this concludes our introduction to Dataset Explorer and generating summary statistics about clinical data.